All right, so I just want to show you one more thing before we start rendering. And that is, first of all, by the way, I realized I have on the walk, I had this on in place the whole time, but it should obviously be on locomotive. I also want to show you an example of what we can use the transform groups that we set up earlier for. So in this case, we set up the left arm and right arm. So I'm just going to take one of the arms and I'm going to set that up as a partial ragdoll by using the groups. And how to do that, if we can go to this walk, instead of having it as animated static, you will switch this to active. And you might think like, oh wait, but that will just put it into ragdoll. And that is true, but you can check this partial ragdoll. If I do that, I can select the group. So if I would set all, it would just be a regular ragdoll. But we have these two groups, left arm and right arm. So I can just select either of them. And now only that part would be ragdoll. So you can see my clips are still here. So let's see what that does. Just go forward a few frames. So if we look at any agent now, you will see that their left arm is not pointing forward. So you can see he starts walking and get his left arm up there, but then it will just drop because it's just a ragdoll. So now he have like a flimsy arm hanging on the side, which kind of works pretty well with a zombie, I think. And by doing that, that means that you can set up like an extra walk state when you just have like one of the arms or both arms hanging and then you get more variations in the crowd. So I just wanted to show you this. I'm actually going to turn it off again. I just want to show you how to set this up and then you can experiment by yourself. Go back to animated static.